All right, I'm gonna do a chapter review for Black Clover chapter 348. Uh, my bad, 349. Title: Asa versus Sister Lily. And um, we start off with uh, Heath um, observing Asa as he defeated Yurulu. And then he's saying that uh, who would have thought you get in my way again? But before he could actually do anything to Asta, we see Yosuga interrupts him saying, this isn't my thing, but it got to be done. I'll take you on. After all, even I got too much tact to butt in on a guy's rendezvous with his girl. Um, just, just before we get on to the next page, I thought, I thought it would have been cool, like, you know, to kind of see how Yosuga magic is. But I guess we will have to wait for the future chapters. Because um, it seems like Yasuga really is the strongest in terms of like the reusing 7. So, you know, people are trying to wonder what exactly his magic type is. But uh, like I said, we have to wait till he actually comes back on the uh, screen again. But uh, as of right now, his character is uh, pretty cool. So I like his character a lot. But, um, after that, we get on to the, uh, next pages. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, we get Asta and Lily doing a, uh, stare down at each other. And, like, we see the, uh, you know, we see the landscape behind them. And how, like, you know, like, the outcome of the battlefield. How, like, uh, the, uh, excuse me, how the land of the sun residents turn into a, uh, battlefield. Like in just uh, in just a couple of minutes, how everything is frozen on the surface, and there's like ice, um, uh, like ice. Uh, I guess you could say like uh, icicles, large icicles around the land and whatnot. So you know, I should have thought that was cool for Tabata to like draw that in the background. You know, the uh, I want to say the aftermath of the battlefield, but like. Kind of what, you know, what kind of happened in the battlefield when Asa wasn't here. So, I, I thought that was cool. But, um, then we see Asa and Lily conversing. Lily's first saying, why is he still alive? Asa's telling her that, uh, the people of the land of Sun Satan, and that he actually believes that, uh, Lily herself has sent him to the land of, uh, land to the sun on purpose. Um, she tells Asa that, um, that can't be, uh, uh, that can't be um, that can't be true, just because she uh she said that she actually meant to kill him. But then also said, even if you are being in control, there's no way you can ever kill me. And Lily's saying, you know, Lily trying to deny saying that she's not being controlled, and then she tried to um, uh, what's my call? She trying to um, trying to get Asa with her magic. Asa dodges out the way. And then she said, uh, um, and, you know, she's trying to tell Asa that, um, just him being alive is a problem for us. You know, basically her trying to persuade Asa to, you know, to let him, you know, let himself get killed. And then she used, um, her water magic, saying, holy, uh, water magic, holy fist of love. Asa remembers how the, um, back in the day, you know, the water fist magic was kind of used to, um, you know, used for, like, fun and games whenever Asa would, uh, pester Lily about uh trying to marry her but you know now it it, it, it comes from a home from a, like a whole different uh excuse me from a whole different meaning but i uh, also instantly um take care of that with a uh, single slash and lily talks to herself saying that um unless also is immobilized forced spatial transfer won't work on him and sacred double control is pulling against anti-magic then you know, then she um, then she started questioning as to why Asa didn't die back then. And, L and Lily also comes up with a uh, new spell, um, right off the uh, right I guess right off the uh, dome because um, she uh, I think she yeah she she fuses or combines both her water magic with the spatial magic, and I thought that was cool you know to see a new different spell. Um, cause you know, we really don't see a lot of like, um, combination spells. Only, only time we've seen this was when, only thing I can only remember off the top of my head 
is when Xenon fused his bone magic with spatial magic. So, like, when Sister Lily did war and spatial magic, that's what I instantly thought of. And I thought that was pretty cool. But the move itself is, is also cool. It's like a little uh, laser beam. And it's called um, Satchel's Flash. So, like I said, it's basically like a little laser beam. And, and, and it, it kind of, like, uh, darts through the, um, through, uh, through the land. And, and it's just a little crazy. Because, um, like, she aims it at Asa. And then it, it kind of, like... Just uh, goes straight across the land, and Asa kind of like, I want to say he didn't deflect it, but he blocked it to where, when it hit his sword, he kind of like bounced off of it. <clears throat> so then, you know, Lily trying to persuade Asa, saying this is for world's sake, please die, Asa. Asa then uh, responded to her, saying that uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna let you kill me, sister. And then um, you kind of see how, like, you know, Lily's um, memories of Asta. And then she starts uh, tearing up, saying, it's not as if I want to. And then, you know, Asta kind of had a, um, I don't know what I'll call it, epiphany. But uh, Asta come to the real, real realization. Because, you know, like, Asta believes that she's been being manipulated all this time. But Cicely was always being in denial until we, you know, finally see that Cicely is actually crying, and like her true, um, her true character comes out saying that, that she really doesn't want to kill Asa. And so then we see Asa saying that, um, saying in his head that us uh, Lucius is right, quote unquote. She's only been conditioned to prioritize that, but Cicely is still Cicely. So that's basically him saying, um, you know, basically him saying that um, the characteristics of that person when they transform into a paladin, their characteristics are still the same before they turn into a paladin. It's just that um, they're um, like the uh, um, the utmost thing that they uh, prioritize is um, Lucius' belief about you know trying to make a better world. So it's like Sister Lily is still Sister Lily, but um, but the, the the thing that she prioritized the most is Lucius' beliefs, and the one thing that that Lucius believes is that Asa should not no longer be in this world. So like Sister Lily still you know still thinks of Asa as like a um, you know as her brother, but you know, uh, Lucius believes just like just takes uh takes over that. If that makes sense. <clears throat> and this is Lily takes out three, um, what's it called? Three Satchel's Flash. Saying that, um, but it's for the sake of what everyone wants. What you want. A world filled with happiness. And then we see her, um, you know, use the Satchel Flash again. But like times three. And it's just like three laser beams just, uh, flashing across the, uh, battlefield. And Asa is able to effectively dodge them all. And then Sister Lily starts begging Asa, saying, I'm begging you, please die, Asa. And we see, you know, we kind of see like the turmoil and how Sister Lily is kind of like conflicting belie conflicting between Lucius' beliefs and like her own, um, you know, her own uh, opinions and characteristics because she don't want to kill Asa because, you know, she has uh, affection for Asa as a... Uh, as like a as, as like a like a sibling but at the same time you know she's been uh, i guess you could say programmed you know uh to kill asa because she knows that this is quote unquote and you know quote unquote in her words the right thing to do <clears throat> and then you know because asa is kind of understanding that also gets like he gets super pissed off saying that uh there's no way that this is right. And so then Asa just. He takes one of the uh, laser beam heads on. And then this time he does deflect it. With his sword. But uh, he is dashing straight towards Lily. <clears throat> and then. Asa uh, then says. I am never going to forgive you Lucius. And you get this cool panel. Like Lucius kind of looking very sinister. Um, in this uh, panel. But we also get a cool shot of uh, Asa. Dashing straight towards his Lily. Then we see Asa does another, um, is it a Zetan? 
I will assume it's a Zenson Slash. Because uh, with the Slash, you see it kind of has like the anti-magic attack. And like, like you can tell if it's blood or not. Uh, if it doesn't have like the little, um, what's what I'm call? Like, like for instance, this, this attack where Sister Lita gets, um, Slash Wolf is not her actual blood because you can see, um, uh, you can see the black ink, but also the outlines is kind of like a little bit, um, faded. So that, 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 that gives you the hint that it's not actually blood, but it's actually, um, the Zetan, or I guess the, uh, anti-magic Zetson power slash so to say <clears throat> so then I uh, said so, you know does lands ahead on sister Lily and then we see sister Lily uh paladin transformation becoming undone and uh, I was also saying please go back to being you sister Lily and so it seemed like that it might actually work because it did work for Uralu so hopefully sister Lily comes back um, and that's pretty much it for the chapter. For my opinions, um, I think it was an okay chapter. Um, I did not expect this Lily to be, you know, out or, yeah, um, out commission already or decommissioned. I believe that's the word. Because, uh, you know, I thought this Lily was going to be more of a, uh, more of an important factor in the story. Just because of how she, like, because... I don't think she was the first paladin, because it seemed like Lucius had more paladins before her. But either way, you know, with the interactions that she had with Lucius, you know, about her asking Lucius if he was all right and whatnot, if he was sitting on the throne after um after changing Morris's um ideals and whatnot. But you know, I just thought she literally had like more, you know, more things to do. As a character, so you know, I don't know how involved she's gonna be now because she's not a paladin. I think this, I think this might be where her story ends. You know, like as a um, as in, I guess a uh, what's the word? As a um, I want to say really like an important character like Asa, but just you know, just a character in this arc, a focused character in this arc, so to say. Like I feel like you know. Asa Zed and Slasher, her power becomes undone, and then she just go back to being Sister Lily, and you know just um doing parental guide for the uh, orphans in Hodge Village and whatnot. I mean, one thing I could think of, you know, for her, you know, still being a um a uh, character in, in this arc. It's like maybe she gives, you know, details to Asta about maybe the whereabouts of Lucius' place and, you know, what are his future plans. But other than that, I feel like Sister Lily is just going to be uh, done for this arc. But, you know, we have to wait and see. Some people believe that um, Lucius may have a backup plan. And like maybe he implanted some sort of spell to where when the uh, Paladin comes undone, He's able to self-destruct the, uh, you know, the paladins. I think that's a cool theory. Because if so, that would really give us another reason to hate Lucius. If he, you know, had this backup plan to where, like, oh, y'all are no longer paladins. So y'all so are no longer useful. So therefore, I'll just dispose of y'all. I think that would be cool. But um, it, it would be crazy, you know, if he just killed people after they become undone. Because it's not like that. They were, they voluntarily became undone. You know, like, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't seem right for Lucy to just straight off kill his, uh, his own paladin soldiers if their paladin powers become undone. But, like I said, we had to wait and see, because Yuru still alive and his paladin powers was undone. But, uh, yeah, I also heard that, uh, people didn't like this chapter. Um, because, uh, you know, the situation between Lily and whatnot. Uh, we'll have to wait till next chapter to see, you know, what people think, because I, I don't think people are really going to like it a lot. If Sister Lily just becomes undone, and then she got back to normal, and nothing, no repercussions happened to her. But like I said, we have to wait and see. Either way, you know, I think it was an okay chapter. I'll give it a uh, 7 out of 10, just because of the, uh, just because of what, 
what the chapter was about. You know, the chapter was just wasn't about Asta fighting Lily. It was about, you know, it, it had kind of like more emotion because we know that these two characters has a bond, have a bond with each other. And so, you know, the it was more than just a fight. It was, um, you know, just them, um, <clears throat> them kind of like uh, their characters, I guess, I wouldn't say really com conflicting with each other, but more like, um, Asa just trying to, you know, talk with Sister Lily to see exactly why she was what she was when she became a paladin, I guess, so to speak. But, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it was an okay chapter.